Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Saturday. Um, if I seem a little bit under the weather and not, you know, I don't know, like perky. I'm never really perky. So, um, but yeah, if I seem a little bit off, it's because I'm not feeling very well today. Um, I'm having some lung issues for whatever reason. I'm having some breathing issues. So, um, it's a little bit hard for me to talk. Uh, as you can tell, my voice is a little bit raspy because of that, but bear with me because we're going to get through this today. Um, <clears throat> so what we're looking at today is basically the start of a new series um, that I'm going to call Lux or Lame, maybe? It's a work in progress. We might change the name, but I don't know yet. But um, the reason why I decided to do this series is because I was uh, going through my stuff the other day to throw out, well not throw out, well to give away some stuff, and I realized that I have a lot of luxury I just got to thinking, I... like, was it really worth it? And this is something that I've actually been um, thinking about for a little while now because um, I used to be someone who didn't ever think about spending money. like. Literally, I'll give you an example. Like, I used to work um, in Soho in Manhattan, and right across the street from where the magazine that I worked was a tiny boutique store. And my boyfriend and I used to go to dinner every single day after work. Every day. Every day. Man, when you're like 26 and you have nothing to do with your money, wow. But um, in any case, I would, we would go to dinner every day, and I did not want to wear the same outfit that I wore to work to dinner, so I would go across the street and I would get a new outfit well, every day. It got to the point where um, when new items came into the boutique, they would just take my size out of the things that they thought that I would like and put it on a rack until I came in. Yeah, I was that bad. Um, but as I've gotten older and I've gotten poorer, um, I started to think about really what am I spending my money on uh, when it comes to like clothes and stuff like that I don't mind spending a lot of money on clothing and shoes because I find that they last longer those items that I got um, I still have them today and they still look brand new like literally I have a t-shirt that I paid like I think $115 it's a lycra t-shirt that looks like this plain white t-shirt that I paid $115 for from that boutique and it's still blinding white and no no fading, stretching, nothing. It still looks So perfect. when it comes to certain things, um, I think the money is justified paying for higher prices for certain things. But then when you think about, and I think you guys know how I feel about spending that much on like skincare stuff, some skincare stuff maybe, but I think I've already said how I feel about that. But when it comes to makeup, like, I don't know how much sense it makes to spend like, two hundred dollars on a foundation when I say luxury makeup I'm not talking about like the Becca's or you know the Too Faced and or the Laura Mercier and stuff like that those are strictly speaking mid-tier brands those are high-end brands when I say luxury makeup I'm talking Dior I'm talking um even if the price point isn't luxury I'm talking about like luxury brands that stem from fashion houses and stuff like that so like Givenchy Dior I try to figure out why it is that I have um, a lot of this luxury makeup and I think a lot of it has to do with packaging because I have um, I'm a packaging junkie and I have like I like a certain aesthetic so I think a lot of times I purchase um, luxury brands simply for the aesthetic of the thing that I'm purchasing and not necessarily thinking about anything else but sometimes the items justify the price point and a lot of times they don't but um, I have uh, right here some luxury items that I collected. I bought most of this stuff, I want to say, um, right before I got sick in February. So that's And that's another thing. Like I do not ever really pay full price for luxury items because, once again, I don't think that the price point always justifies the product. So... Um, it has to be something that I really, really want for me to actually plop down like $82 for something because I'm just like, eh, why? But so a lot of these things that I have, um, <clears throat> I got in December and January when everywhere was having a lot of sales. So nothing that I've gotten is full price, 
not two items well, are full price. That's it. Two items in here are full price, um, but everything else I got on sale. And I have other stuff. This is just the stuff that was in the basket. And I was going to use everything to create a look, and then I realized that um, there are a lot of duplicate items in there. Um, and there are, I wouldn't have been able to use everything in the same video. So I decided to come up with this tiny little series so that we can evaluate whether or not it's worth paying like, you know, 60 or $70 for a foundation if a $30 foundation can do the same thing. Also, um, if I know of sales of the, the, the items that I'm, I'm going to be doing in these videos, if I know of any of them being on sale, I will put them in the description box. Uh, so that you can go there and find uh, the sale items so that you don't have to pay full price for it. The very first product that I'm going to be reviewing in this new Lux or Lame series is from Gucci. Now, I'm late, right? Because I didn't know that Gucci made face makeup. Like, I don't know. This is new to me. And so when I saw it, I had to get it. Um, I'm not a Gucci fan, so that's probably the reason why I overlooked their whole cosmetic section. But yeah, they make foundation, and I am going to be um, taking a look at this, uh, what is it called, the Gucci Face Lustrous Glow Foundation today. So if you want to see that, it's coming right up. Um, stick around. And while you're sticking around, maybe hit that subscribe button right there. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to comment down below whatever you think um, of this foundation as I'm doing it or trying to apply it to my face. But um, yeah, stick around and I will be right back. I think I paid, I want to say I paid $30 for it, uh, but it is $65 from the Gucci website. And you can also get it on Neiman Marcus and it comes in 14 shades. Um, there are... There are, I think, five or six dark shades. The shade that I got is 150. And remember, this is probably going to be a little bit too light for me right now because remember, I got it in December. Um, but uh, the dark shades start at 120. So there's dark 120, 130, 140, 150, and 160. So there are five dark shades out of a range of uh, 14 shades, which is not terrible, you know, thinking about it, it really isn't terrible. But yeah, the shade that I got is 150. It's made in Japan. You get one fluid ounce for $65. Um, this is what the pump looks like. It is actually a really pretty pump, and I, I actually really like the bottle. Like, I'm not a fan of Gucci because I don't like their very gold and black aesthetic. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, but I actually kind of like this. This is the shade 150, like I said, and it, the glass is frosted, so the color is probably not a true representation of what the color looks like inside, so we're just going to see how this works. But first, before we do that, let me read you some claims. Gucci Lustrous Glow Foundation with Sunscreen, uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 25, is expertly crafted to create the signature Gucci finish. A fresh radiant complexion with a soft luster. The foundation's versatile lightweight texture is designed to spread smoothly across the skin surface and allow for even buildable coverage. Each drop of formula contains a precise ratio of luminous oil, powders, and polymers to deliver a signature spe what? A signature specular finish and create a perfect luminosity level from the moment it's applied. Y'all are doing too much. Features include SPF 25, broad spectrum, non comedogenic, and dermatologically tested and suitable for sensitive skin. No, there are no ingredients on the Gucci website either. Huh. All right, in any case, <clears throat> I have already primed with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, and I have also done my lids with and my under eyes with um, my Fiona Styles. Uh, concealer a little bit closer. I'm going to be using my Sephora diamond cut buffing brush today as per usual. I have not used anything else since I've gotten it and let me pump one pump. It doesn't, it never said whether or not this foundation was supposed to be full. Ooh, hello color. I think I chose the right color. Go me. Woo! But yeah, this is what 150 looks like and it is definitely a peachy undertone, but uh, yeah, let's go in and see how this applies and all that good stuff.
Okay, it has a very lotion-y smell, and honestly, no lie, but I kind of feel like I just put water on my face because I'm not getting any coverage. So, I'm going to switch from buffing to tapping and seeing if that works any better to get some more coverage from this foundation. But so far, I'm just, I'm loving the undertones more than anything else on this foundation. Okay guys, so I put another two pumps on my hand, the back of my hand, because I feel like I'm not really getting any coverage from this foundation. So I want to see if it can be built up at all. But so far it is like dumb luminous. I don't think I'm going to get any more coverage from this foundation than this right here. So here's what one side of my face looks like with three layers on and here's what the other side looks like. Tuck my hair back so you can get a full uh, view of the difference on either side and you guys can tell me what you think but um, I think this foundation is going to basically be a very sheer to light medium coverage so um, unless you have very good skin or perfect skin this is probably not going to be the foundation for you. Um, but yeah, let me finish up the rest of my face off camera and I will come back and we'll see if I need to powder this down or whatnot because as of this moment, it is feeling incredibly, incredibly dewy. Um, well not feeling, it's looking very dewy and girl, I have combination oily skin so that's not the move. Hi. Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, so this foundation is a dewy girl's wet dream no pun intended um so i am going to go ahead and set my face with a uh, cinnamon bun from huda beauty and uh finish the rest of my face off camera and i will come right back and let you guys know what i think about this foundation so far yeah okay guys i am back and i have thoughts not a whole lot of them, honestly, because there's really not much to be said. All right, so about this foundation. Hmm. Um, honestly, it's not terrible. It, it really isn't terrible. Um, is it worth $65? Hell no. Uh, I'm really happy that I got it on sale for, I think, between $25 and $30. I would not have paid more for it. Um, yeah, no, no. Uh, definitely not worth $65. So... In this instance, you are going to be paying for the name because it's not a spectacular foundation. Um, it gives light to medium coverage. It is incredibly dewy. I was going to do a wear test, but based on how dewy it is, um, I don't think it's going to fare well, even with the um, Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder on top. I don't think that it would do well. It does look good. I like the way it looks after I've used the powder on top of it, did some like contouring and finished the rest of my face. It looks good. It is a nice foundation. It looks good, but it is not worth $65. Um, it has a very strong lotion smell to it and it is tickling my nose and I don't care for that, which is another reason why I'm not going to do the wear test because I am going to take it off. Um, even the scent of the oud in the powder does not mask it. Like, I put it on and I smelled the oud and I was like, ooh, okay, good. But then, like, five seconds later, that very strong lotion-y smell was back. And I'm trying really hard not to scratch my nose right now. But it's, like, tickling my nose and it's making my nose feel itchy. So I'm not here for that very strong lotion-y scent of the foundation. Also, you saw the foundation. It is very watery. It is very thin. It's almost as if it doesn't have a lot of pigment in it. So... You can try to build it up, but I don't think that you're going to get much more than maybe very, very light coverage from this foundation. It is seriously for people who have pretty much perfect skin. The good thing that I will say about it, though, is that even though it is so dewy, um, it didn't overemphasize the texture on my face. Um, and I do have quite a bit of texture on my skin and it didn't overemphasize the texture it is not going into any of the fine lines on my face uh i'm looking at the peach fuzz to see how it's treating my peach fuzz and it's the peach fuzz looks fine honestly 
it hasn't bunched up around it away a lot the, the way a lot of um foundations can do so yay for this foundation that. would be an excellent foundation for people who have very dry skin but for someone who has um combination or oily skin I don't think that this foundation would be a good match. It's probably going to slip and slide for the rest As of the day. As for the finish, <laughs> it said a lustrous finish. Uh, did it say it said a lustrous? Let me see what it says because I can't really remember. A fresh radiant complexion with a soft luster. No, girl, that looked really, really oily. That's what that looked like. Um, even buildable coverage. Um, even coverage, yes. Buildable, not so much. Yeah, perfect luminosity level. Hmm, okay, well, like I said, kind of look like an oil slick. It's a lot. Maybe the next time I wear it, because I, I do, I do like it. I don't think it's worth the price, but I like it. Maybe I'll save it for the winter time and use it then and see what happens. If it performs differently, or if it feels differently going on my skin. Um, but I do like the finish of it, to be completely honest with you. Even with the powder, the luminosity of the foundation is still coming and through. And there are some luxury brand foundations that are worth the price, but this, this isn't one of them. Yeah, no. Um, they should come out with a different foundation. One that isn't quite so greasy looking. I'm just saying. Alright guys, uh, thank you for tuning into my very first, have we settled on Locks or Lane? Is that the name that we're going to go with? Because I honestly can't think of anything else, but ugh. yeah, I was trying really hard not to scratch my nose, but clearly that's not going to work. Um, yeah, I can't think of, I can't think of another name, so we're just going to go with it for now. Maybe uh, we'll come up with something else later. But in any case, guys, thanks for watching my very first um, video in this new series. Uh, I hope you liked it. And as usual, I hope I was helpful in helping you make a decision whether or not you wanted to try the Gucci Lustrous Face Foundation. Yeah. Um, yeah. But as usual, guys, it's been real. It's been fun. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.